Tchelis is the blue wool that we put on the strings of the tzitzis. There is a mitzvah in the Torah to wear tzitzis, that is, fringes that are attached to the four corners of a four-cornered garment. If someone wears such a garment, like a poncho, Jewish men wear a four-cornered garment, either a talis, a prayer shawl that they wrap around them, or underneath their clothing, what's called a talis katana, a miniature talis. It's a, it's a small four-cornered garment with a hole in the middle, middle for the head and neck to go through, and it drapes two corners in the front, two corners in the back. And on such a garment, the Torah requires we put special fringes, special strings on the corners. Among those strings, there's supposed to be one white thread. So possibly two, uh, excuse me, blue threads. The blue, however, is a special blue the Torah calls the chelas, and it's a rare dye from a sea creature known as the chila zone. For many centuries, we lost the identity of the chila zone because of the exile. We lost the identity of the chila zone, and this feature of the tzitzis, this feature of the fringes was lost to the Jewish people for many, many centuries. In the last century or so, there have been a number of scholars who have tried to identify accurately what sea creature the Chilazon is. There were a number of attempts to produce different forms of blue dye from these creatures. There are, are disputes as to which is the authentic one. And for that reason, many of the halachic authorities today, many of the legal authorities today, shy away from uh, putting a stamp of, of approval on any of the modern attempts to reproduce this techeles. Uh, and therefore, in the mainstream of Orthodox Jewry, it has not become widely accepted to wear any form of blue yet on our tzitzis. However, there are those you may see, Orthodox Jews with a blue thread on the corners of your third tzitzis, and these will be one of the uh, more contemporary versions of Techeles, and uh, whether or not one should undertake to do such a thing should be discussed under the guidance of your particular rabbinic advisor.